Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. You know, praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yosha, Bashem Ka, Kadash. The one is the oldest, and the prophet of Ben was down and rise up to the house of David. But Hachi would not listen. Out there on the over after hours, on the hill and gully, wet and windy and rainy. Walk and talk. Yeah, man. We're gonna, see, we're gonna do what we do out here. <laughs> if I could see where I'm going. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's all good, man. We got we got the natural light behind me there. The natural light. I don't see the moon, but I see I see the the chariots them. The chariots are there. You see them in the background, man. You know the stationary ones, you've got certain ones that are just stationary. Because I know it ain't no moon and I know it ain't no star. There's at least two of them up there tonight. That I can see with my bare eyes. At least two. But um yeah man. All praises to Yah Bashim Shai. Give double honor to all the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Yes, the house of David is rising. Like I achieved with another lesson with the power and the spirit of the Raqqa Kwadash in the year of turn up coming to the end coming to the end of this year and next year no doubt going to start with a bang the elites are probably conjuring up something so don't be surprised Akim we're always ready we're always ready we're always combat ready through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashim Yashar, we come back ready for what these devils are about to do, spring upon us. Yeah, because we are not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. So, through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashim Yashar, Ephesians chapter 6 and 10, man. And we're going to gird up our loins as well. You know, Job. Job spoke about girding up your loins. You know, putting on the, um, the spiritual armor, uh, Ephesians 6 and 10 around about, spiritual armor. So we're going to be spiritually combat ready, you know, for what is about to come in the earth. <sighs> it's out my air as usual. The weather's all right for it, for the breathing, the stretching, the workout, the running. And um, do what we're doing, man. And I had this strange. Um, I'm gonna drop this little strange one. I had strange dream, vision. It was a bit strange, but I'm gonna say it anyway because it did make me think of spiritual things. You know, some some dreams you have are just pure folly. folly. But even in folly, even if in folly, if it's the most high's will can learn from you know the, the saying is pick sense from nonsense we're going to hit some precepts you know regarding this dream this vision I had and I'm going to title this video you can't fool the elect you can't deceive the elect no matter what you do no matter what you try no matter how you cut it no matter how you slice it you want to try and give the elect the dragon juice uh-uh uh-uh you want to try and give the elect, the elect, right? Hopefully elect or the elect, the MOTB, uh -uh. it ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. The elect are protected and they were create, and they was from the beginning, from creation. Most I had them, you know, you know, he had them covered. So this is the little thing. Now you take away with it what you take away from this. I'm going in, cause you know, we, we have to do business with, um, Elam, Elam, you know, Elam, E, the E's, and sometimes they think they're slick, and they look at us like they look down on us, like we're dumb. They don't see Jake as anything. Oh, I'm sidetracked, I'm sidetracked. They don't see Jake as anything. But let me go over there, man. Let me go over there. Let me catch a few. There's no street light, the other street lights are off. Or the, or I don't know the street light, but the night lights. 
you catch, you catch one little spot over here, over here, so. Because I ain't going up there. I usually up a certain spot over there and all over there. But the mud won't allow it. Just catch one spot to avoid all the, all the mud. You know, I had to make some adjustments today. It's been raining all day. And the only light we got right now is this camera light. So we're doing it raw. This is raw and uncut, Akim. We're going through this raw and uncut. Yeah, I can see something. I see something. You catch right chasso, so I know where it's at. This is raw and uncut. Let me stay here. There's no lights, man. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, this up here, man. You got the light there. That's the light we do have. Light of the chariot, and there's another one over there just behind the trees. So, uh, yeah, they Elam, Ishmael, the E's look down upon Jake, they think we're dumb, stupid, and maybe we're just waking up. You know, most of us for the most part are, are waking up, some, some ain't waking up out of the sleep, out of the slumber, out of the trauma. Post-traumatic slave syndrome, you know, and that's a, that's, a, that's a real word. So they're using that to their advantage. Um, eat the elam, them. Licking our wounds, as one brother always says. They like to lick our wounds. They know we're, they know we're still wiping the sleep out of our eyes. So anyway, back to this vision, because there was some sense in this vision. Like I say, take away from it what you as what you will. So I'm doing business with him. I'm looking at this stereo in a one of them hi-fi shops and I'm looking at it I'm saying yeah I like this and he's saying is it, is it? I asked him does it work he says yeah it works nothing's wrong with it so something said to me um check it out but, but um something said don't buy it I was looking at it acting like I was gonna buy it but I ended up not buying it and keeping my money and walking away right there was something something there was something a little bit fishy in the back of my mind so I didn't buy it so I walked away walked down the road Right, walk back up, looked in a little kind of alleyway, side road alleyway shop kind of off the street, and I saw the said guy in a lift with the stereo, the contraption, the com contraption, what I was gonna buy. The lift broke down on him, and I went and I said, <laughs> and I looked, I said, the fuck are you? Your lift broke down on you. You fucking tried to sell me that shit. Now you got fucked up, you got caught. Yeah. So um that was the most high protecting me from a, a scandal. Um someone trying to pull the wool over my eyes. So I just I said to, uh, I, I kinda woke up with it in my head, said, yeah, I'm, uh, that sounds like I could do a video on that. But then I forgot. I forgot that I had the vision until it came back again later on in the day. Oh I had that vision. Let me let me do this video on it. So I, you know, as I'm over here now, I'm talking about the vision I had earlier on today or last night. So that what came to me was that you cannot fool the elect. That vision said to me what I woke up with in my mind and precepts, they may try. Enough said, let me bring out the precepts. They may try, right? Give us the dragon juice. Many have taken it. Many have come and many, many have fallen. Many have come and many have fell. Yeah, they may end up taking a dragon juice and, and, and according to what I'm hearing, certain brothers had having visions on certain men are going to end up taking the MRTP too. So that's going to show who the elect are. It's going to separate the boys from the men. Who takes the MOTV and separate the boys from the men? But let me hit this preset, man. Because that was a simple, kind of simple vision, but there was a lesson. There was a, as I like to say, there was a method to the madness. Job. Let's hit this one. Let's hit this one here. Psalms 37. Well, the chariots up there just stationary. Psalm 37, 11 says, But the meek shall inherit 
the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. The wicked plotteth against the just and gnashes upon him with his teeth. Right, yeah, you see, that's, that precept come to me, man. Yeah, and such alike. The wicked plotteth against the just and gnashes his teeth upon him with his teeth and gnashes upon him with his teeth. So they're always plotting, these fuckers are always plotting. Maybe you see it. I'll see it. You let's see it. Yeah, they're plotting right now, as I said. Next year, we're coming to the end of this year or turn up. Next year, they're going to try. They're thinking of something. Some kind of scheme or plot. They're plotting. Uh, confederate against us. Is that Psalms 83? They're confederate against us. Always plotting some something. Because they look down upon us. And you may, as you go from your day to day, maneuvering around, you may see how they look down on you when you're dealing with them. Yeah? Especially the Elam them and the Ishmaelite them. And when they see you coming to the show, oh, oh, brother, oh, brother. I think they're fucking clever and they think we're stupid. But for the most part, the elect, they ain't going to get the elect. Yeah? From from the smallest thing to the biggest thing. Yeah? The wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth his teeth upon with his teeth. And gnasheth upon him with his teeth. Now, in 13 it says, The Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his days is coming. Yeah, the Lord and, and also us. You see it and you're planning and you're plotting, but we see that your days are coming. And any little stupid little thing you may think that you're getting away with, you little two bob villains, you know, you know, you little two bob and one back, one pan here, little, little bits and pieces you're getting away with that you think you're getting away with. You're just, you're just having it for a little while, temporarily. You got it on lease, yeah? And you know when something's just leased out, lease hold, you got it for six months, a year maybe, and actually the whole planet you got you got that on lease. Yeah, the, uh, the whole world was given to the power of the wicked. Um, Job 24, 9, or not, is it 9, 24? I usually get them mixed up, but you know the one. The whole world is given to the hand of the wicked. So they got it all on lease. Everything they got is on lease, temporarily. Short leasehold, and it's a very short leasehold when you compare it with the time of Yahweh. One one day is about a thousand years to us. A thousand years to us is one day to the Most High. Yeah. So that's it. That's that's it. Their time is is very short. Yeah. The time is very short. The wicked, the wicked triumph is but for a moment. So yeah, they think they're, they think we're we're silly and stupid. Here's another one. While they're plotting against us, and the past, present, and future, what they did to us in um, in the on the ships, on the ship, transatlantic ships, when we was coming over, over the transatlantic in the ships, what they was doing to us, and when we land on this big globe put us all over in different places the the islands america the america states the babylonian mothers and the babylonians lands and this and this this land here the, this a vulnerable land here the mother of babylon right so the most i was laughing you thought you was doing something you thought you was being clever and you was hiding and every, and the most i wasn't going it wasn't going noticed. Psalms 2 4 backs it up. He that sitteth in the heaven shall laugh, the Lord shall have them in derision. And you're in derision, man. Like I say, your time is the wicked, the triumph of the wicked is very short compared to what we're going to have and, and our time, what we're going to have. Infinity, eternity, immortality, forever. Proverbs chapters 1. Proverbs chapters 1, we want 26. Yeah, just to back up the vision I had, the precepts, these are the precepts that came to me. I'm rolling them off one by one so you can understand, yeah, picking sense from nonsense because there is a method to your whole about Shini Shai's <laughs> movie. There's a method to his movie, yeah, a method to the madness. Proverbs chapters 1. And 23 says, I also shall laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. 
uh, again you cannot deceive the elect you cannot fool the elect because the time you think you're fooling the elect you most are seeing it and he's laughing and so are we <laughs> thinking yeah i'm getting one over on these people yeah you're getting over on the uh, the dumb the fools man the two-thirds and all the other nations of goyim but you cannot deceive the elect 27 when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind when distress and anguish cometh upon you then shall they call upon me but i will not answer they shall seek me early but they shall not find me yeah right now over there in your your states over there them states like louisiana georgia texas mississippi they're all getting frozen out frozen to death frozen out uh turn tornadoes getting turn turning them out uh ice cold weather frost weather turning them out but they, who can they turn to most sides laughing at them man and so am i it's very funny all what they was doing in those states when they had us uh i, I put up the video of the brother one of the elders um fast food gms fast food and he broke down basically it's going through the book of um, without sanctuary and I thought that was a that picture paints a thousand words <laughs> yeah sometimes um, a picture paints a thousand words and, and I like what, the, what, he, what he said <laughs> yeah man just keep that fire burning <laughs> keep the fire burning it, that's what he does yeah in order for us to keep that fire burning sometimes a picture paints a thousand words don't let the fire burn down don't let the fire die down uh, yeah, man. So we go and get that. Galatians 6 and 7. Whatsoever man saw if they shall eat. What they've done to the young boys. What the, um, the older men. Burning them, lynching them, castrating them. Sending around postcards to each other. Yeah, the book. Without Sanctuary is a very, very, um, very, very um, detailed. As far as when, what they used to do to us. You know, the Jim Crow around that time after slavery that was one of the worst most violent and who are the real terrorists the E's are the real terrorists but but really the real terror is going to be the most high when he when he turns it up man expect expecting to do so expecting to do so they're on borrowed time the wicked are on borrowed time the wicked the triumph the triumph of the wicked is very short Lucky I'm doing two things at a time here. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the triumph of the wicked is very short. So that book without sanctuary, uh, picture paints a thousand words. Check out that video I put up yesterday. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot in there. All what you've done to our youngsters, our grandfathers, which were our ancestors, our great grandfathers, our children, our brothers, our sisters, all what we've done, what goes around, will come around. Galatians 6 and 7, man. We were little, little girls watching and getting sadistic pleasure out of seeing what they was doing. They was watching and laughing. You think you got, you got away? Nobody's getting away. Nobody's getting away. Yeah, when your fear cometh as this desolation and destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall thy call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord, yeah, that, that's the two thirds of the wicked of Rome people that can apply to, they would they would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. Yeah, you're gonna regret it. Yeah, the wicked of our own people. Wherefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices? Yeah. The wicked of our own people and the Goyim and the East. You're gonna be filled with your own devices. You love blood, you pursued blood, so blood gonna pursue you. That's Ezekiel uh, 25 goes into that. Since you love blood, blood gonna pursue you. All what you did in the book, uh, the book, the details, and it goes into a lot of details about said the book without sanctuary goes into a lot of details. All that's coming upon you, double. Revelation chapters 18 and 6 talks about that. Whatsoever you done will come back upon you double. Here's the last one. Because the vision. I woke up feeling, yeah, I, I had some precepts to, to back up that vision. There is the method. There was some edifying knowledge in there. 
or things to pick out that can be used in your day-to-day -day life. They look down upon us and they're always trying to use their brain upon us, use their head top upon us, but you cannot deceive the elect. Yeah, people sleep. Yeah, it's very, very quiet. I know it's very, very, very quiet. Every now and then, you hear certain little, little noises. I mean, I, I keep my, I always keep my eyes open when I hear things. I've got keen hearing and keen eyesight. You know, and you must keep your eye on the on the on the, on the devils. You must keep your eye upon the wicked. But they. O oh Lord shall laugh at them that shall have all their heathen in derision. They shall have all the heathen in derision. Yeah, you won't have them in derision, man. No? No. no. You won't have them in derision. So, um, no, no matter what all that polite business, all that thing is, oh, oh, hello, all right. Hello to you too. You won't have them in derision, man. You understand? But thou, O oh Lord, shall laugh at them that Thou shalt have all their heathens in derision. Yeah, Psalms 59 and 8. I'll read it again. But thou, O Lord, shalt laugh at them. Thou shalt have all their heathens in derision. Yeah, man. Walk around, be joyful and be glad, O ye daughters of Eden. Not long now, the Most High will have you in derision. You understand? You're going to laugh at them. Because they look down upon us, they have no respect for us, you understand? Plotting, oh wait, the wicked plotteth against the righteous, yeah? I'm going to read this one again, and then I'm going to pick up where I left off. It's a nice day for a little stretch your legs. I'm all ready and I'm all kitted out to do my little thing, yeah? I'll read it again. Uh, Psalms 37 and 12 says, The wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. Although they plot against us, <laughs> right? They're plotting against us right now as we speak. They elite them. Yeah, the wicked. Yeah, up there. Yeah. Um, you know, Evelyn Rothschild kicked the bucket, but you've got the others now. Nah. David Rothschild, uh, Jacob Rothschild, the Stoics. Um, the Goupons, the, the, the Gettys, all them plotting at, as we speak, yeah, for their new world, world order. But the most I go on, this is what he's saying the wicked plotteth against the just and gnasheth upon him with his teeth. But here it is the Lord shall laugh at him, for he seeth that his days is coming. <sighs> so, yeah, we laughing, man. we laughing. Yeah, it may be cold out here. <laughs> it may have just rain, when it's raining. It may, be, it may be a little bit of muddy down here. But most sides laughing. So if the most sides laughing, we can laugh too. For the power and the spirit of Yahweh Shem is for what is about to come in, come in upon the wicked, come upon the earth in the year of turn up. So, yeah, man. You cannot deceive the elect through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Shem. I was shy by Shem Raka or Dutch. We have the light right here in the background here, the chariots. So, shall I on to the next one? Once again, you cannot deceive the elect. You can't fool the elect. Through the power and spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem, you are shy. Till the next one, I'll kill you. We out.